How many times have you bought flowers and just said hi and goodbye? This is a story about a chance encounter that turned into an unbreakable bond. 26 years ago, along El Camino Real Boulevard in Carlsbad, There's a lot of flowers. Hortensia Contreras set up shop selling flowers. Do you like what you do? Oh, it's the best work in my life. Hortensia grew up in Mexico City in a family of nine. She moved here in 1980 and is proud to call herself a U.S. citizen. Very happy because you feel like part of the country. Over the decades, customers have come and gone, but last August... I just was driving by one day. I just moved into the apartments up the street. Tori King moved to Carlsbad from Oklahoma and wanted some flowers. She offered to give me a free extra bouquet with my first bouquet, and I just thought that was really nice, and we just kind of hit it off from there and became friends. COVID's been tough on Hortensia's business, so Tori decided to buy so many flowers, her home couldn't hold anymore. There's only so many flowers you can buy. There's only so many friends you can give flowers to. Hi, my baby. Tori helped provide Christmas gifts to Hortensia's kids, and then thought, What if we started doing Spanish lessons? Yo, chaparrita, tú un poco más alta. Tori's always wanted to speak Spanish to her mother, so she paid for lessons too. Next time you say, Hola, mami, ¿cómo estás? Hola, mami, ¿cómo estás? Uh -huh. But the blossoming friendship hit a snag. The land this shop sits on was sold. Her flower shop is about to get demolished. They're going to put some houses in this area. She's been here for 26 years and she has nowhere else to go. I check different places. It's hard to find a place. Woo, okay, hold on. Tori can't stand the thought of Hortensia losing it all. She's just such a nice person. Tori is the best. I never met another person like Tori. She gives everything. She's not just a flower shop owner, you know, she's a good friend. It sounds like we need to find you a new home for your flowers. Yes, <laughs> please. <laughs> You may know this flower as a hydrangea, but in Spanish, it's called a... Hortensia. <laughs> Uñas. Which leads us to Tori's next language lesson. How do you say in Spanish, she has a big heart? Tiene mucho corazón. <laughs> in the Zevoli zone... She just needs somewhere to go. Jeff Zevoli, News 8.